A koan, gongan Chinese, gongan pinyin, gongan, kayan, Korean, gongan gongan, Vietnamese, kongan is a story, dialogue, question, or statement which is used in Zen practice to provoke the great doubt and test a student's progress in Zen practice. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The Japanese term koan is the Sino-Japanese reading of the Chinese word gongan Chinese, gongan pinyin, gongan, Wade Giles, kungan, literally, public case. The term is a compound word, consisting of the characters gong, public, official, governmental, common, collective, fair, equitable, and an, table, desk, law, case, record, file, plan, proposal. According to the Yuan Dynasty Zen master Zongfeng Mingben, Zhongfeng Mingben 1263 to 1323, Gongan originated as an abbreviation of Gongfu Ji Andu, Gongfu Ji Andu Japanese Kofu no Antoku, literally the Andu, official correspondence, documents, files, of a Gongfu, government post, which referred to a public record or the case records of a public law court in Tang Dynasty China. Koan, gongan thus serves as a metaphor for principles of reality beyond the private opinion of one person, and a teacher may test the student's ability to recognize and understand that principle. Commentaries in koan collections bear some similarity to judicial decisions that cite and sometimes modify precedents. An article by T. Griffith Folk claims, Its literal meaning is the table or bench and of a magistrate or judge kung. Gongan was itself originally a metonym. An article of furniture involved in setting legal precedents came to stand for such precedents. For example, D. Gongan, D. Gongan is the original title of celebrated cases of Judge D, the famous Chinese detective novel based on a historical Tang dynasty judge. Similarly, Zen koan collections are public records of the notable sayings and actions of Zen masters and disciples attempting to pass on their teachings. <laughs> Origins and development Topic China. Topic Commenting on old cases. Gongans developed during the Tang Dynasty (618 to 907) from the recorded sayings collections of Chan masters, which quoted many stories of a famous past Chan figure's encounter with disciples or other interlocutors, and then offering his own comment on it. Those stories and the accompanying comments were used to educate students, and broaden their insight into the Buddhist teachings. Those stories came to be known as gongan public cases". Such a story was only considered a gongan when it was commented upon by another Chan master. This practice of commenting on the words and deeds of past masters confirmed the master's position as an awakened master in a lineage of awakened masters of the past. Literary practice Koan practice developed from a literary practice, styling snippets of encounter dialogue into well-edited stories. It arose in interaction with "...educated literati". There were dangers involved in such a literary approach, such as ascribing specific meanings to the cases. Dawi Zongo is even said to have burned the woodblocks of the Blue Cliff record, for the hindrance it had become to study of Chan by his students. Koan literature was also influenced by the pre-Zen Chinese tradition of the literary game, a competition involving improvised poetry. The style of writing of Zen texts has been influenced by a variety of East Asian literary games. The extensive use of allusions, which create a feeling of disconnection with the main theme. Indirect references, such as titling a poem with one topic and composing a verse that seems on the surface to be totally unrelated. Inventive wordplay based on the fact that Hanzi Chinese characters are homophonic and convey multiple, often complementary or contradictory meanings. Linking the verses in a sustained string based on hidden points of connection or continuity, such as seasonal imagery or references to myths and legends. Topic: <laughs> Observing the phrase. During the Song dynasty the use of gongans took a decisive turn. Dawi Zongo introduced the use of kanwa observing the phrase", 
In this practice students were to observe con or concentrate on a single word or phrase watu, such as the famous mu of the mu koan, in the 11th century this practice had become common. A new literary genre developed from this tradition as well. Collections of such commented cases were compiled which consisted of the case itself, accompanied by verse or prose commentary. Dawi's invention was aimed at balancing the insight developed by reflection on the teachings with developing samatha, calmness of mind. Ironically, this development became in effect silent illumination, a reabsorbing of koan study into the silence of meditation. Chan. It led to a rejection of Buddhist learning. Some extent of Buddhist learning could easily have been recognized as a precondition for sudden awakening in Chan. Sung masters, however, tended to take the rejection literally and nondialectically. In effect, what they instituted was a form of Zen fundamentalism. The tradition came to be increasingly anti intellectual in orientation and, in the process, reduced its complex heritage to simple formulae for which literal interpretations were thought adequate. This development left Chinese Chan vulnerable to criticisms by Neo-Confucianism, which developed after the Sung dynasty. Its anti-intellectual rhetoric was no match for the intellectual discourse of the Neo-Confucianists. Interaction The recorded encounter dialogues, and the koan collections which derived from this genre, mark a shift from solitary practice to interaction between master and student. The essence of enlightenment came to be identified with the interaction between masters and students. Whatever insight Diana might bring, its verification was always interpersonal. In effect, enlightenment came to be understood not so much as an insight, but as a way of acting in the world with other people. This mutual enquiry of the meaning of the encounters of masters and students of the past gave students a role model. One looked at the enlightened activities of one's lineal forebears in order to understand one's own identity. Taking the role of the participants and engaging in their dialogues instead Koan training requires a qualified teacher who has the ability to judge a disciple's depth of attainment. In the Rinzai Zen school, which uses koans extensively, the teacher certification process includes an appraisal of proficiency in using that school's extensive koan curriculum. Contemporary koan use In China and Korea, observing the phrase is still the sole form of koan practice, though Sung San used the Rinzai style of koan practice in his Kwan Um school of Zen. Japan Japanese Zen, both Rinzai and Soto, took over the use of koan study and commenting. In Soto Zen, koan commentary was not linked to seated meditation. Koan manuals When the Chan tradition was introduced in Japan, Japanese monks had to master the Chinese language and specific expressions used in the koan training. The desired, spontaneity, expressed by enlightened masters required a thorough study of Chinese language and poetry. Japanese Zen imitated the Chinese, syntax and stereotyped norms. In the officially recognized monasteries belonging to the Gozan five mountain system, the Chinese system was fully continued. Senior monks were supposed to compose Chinese verse in a complex style of matched counterpoints known as Bianli Wen. It took a lot of literary and intellectual skills for a monk to succeed in this system. The Rinka monasteries, the provincial temples with less control of the state, laid less stress on the correct command of the Chinese cultural idiom. These monasteries developed more accessible methods of koan instruction. It had three features a standardized koan curriculum, a standardized set of answers based on stereotypes Chinese sayings, a standardized method of secretly guiding students through the curriculum of koan and answers. By standardizing the koan curriculum, every generation of students proceeded to the same series of koans. Students had to memorize a set number of stereotyped sayings, agyo. Appended words. The proper series of responses for each koan were taught by the master in private instruction sessions to selected individual students who would inherit the Dharma lineage. Misanroku and Masancho, records of secret instruction, have been preserved for various Rinzai lineages. They contain both the koan curricula and the standardized answers. In Soto Zen, they are called Monsen, an abbreviation of Manto Hisan, 
Secret instructions of the lineage. The Monson follow a standard question and answer format. A series of questions is given, to be asked by the master. The answers are also given by the master, to be memorized by the student. Topic. Contemporary koan curricula In the 18th century the Rinzai school became dominated by the legacy of Hakuin, who laid a strong emphasis on koan study as a means to gain kensho and develop insight. There are two curricula used in Rinzai, both derived from the principal heirs of Rinzai, the Takuju curriculum, and the Inzan curriculum. According to AMA Sami, "...the koans and their standard answers are fixed." Topic. Suppression in the Soto school During the late 18th and 19th century the tradition of koan commentary became suppressed in the Soto school, due to a reform movement that sought to standardize the procedures for dharma transmission. One reason for suppressing the koan tradition in the Soto school may have been to highlight the differences with the Rinzai school, and create a clear identity. This movement also started to venerate Dogen as the founding teacher of the Soto school. His teachings became the standard for the Soto teachings, neglecting the fact that Dogen himself made extensive use of koan commentary. <laughs> <laughs> Doctrinal background The popular Western understanding sees koan as referring to an unanswerable question or a meaningless statement. However, in Zen practice, a koan is not meaningless, and not a riddle or a puzzle. Teachers do expect students to present an appropriate response when asked about a koan. Koans are also understood as pointers to an unmediated, pure consciousness, devoid of cognitive activity. Victor Hori criticizes this understanding. A pure consciousness without concepts, if there could be such a thing, would be a booming, buzzing confusion, a sensory field of flashes of light, unidentifiable sounds, ambiguous shapes, color patches without significance. This is not the consciousness of the enlightened Zen master. According to Hori, a central theme of many koans is the identity of opposites. K -o -a -n after koan explores the theme of non-duality. Hakuin's well-known koan, two hands clap and there is a sound, what is the sound of one hand? is clearly about two and one. The koan asks, you know what duality is, now what is non-duality? In what is your original face before your mother and father were born?" The phrase, "'father and mother' alludes to duality. This is obvious to someone versed in the Chinese tradition, where so much philosophical thought is presented in the imagery of paired opposites. The phrase, "'your original face' alludes to the original non-duality. Comparable statements are, "'Look at the flower and the flower also looks. Guest and host interchange. Koan practice Study of koan literature is common to all schools of Zen, though with varying emphases and curricula. The Rinzai school uses extensive koan curricula, checking questions, and jakogo capping phrases", quotations from Chinese poetry in its use of koans. The Sanbo Kyodan, and its western derivates of Taizan Meizumi and the White Plum Asanga, also use koan curricula, but have omitted the use of capping phrases. In Chinese Chan and Korean Son, the emphasis is on wa tou, the study of one koan throughout one's lifetime. In Japanese Soto Zen, the use of koans has been abandoned since the late 18th and 19th century. Wa tou or breakthrough koan In the Rinzai school, the Sanbo Kyodan, and the White Plum Asanga, koan practice starts with the assignment of a ha si or breakthrough koan, usually the mu koan or the sound of one hand clapping. In Chinese Chan and Korean Son, various koan can be used for the wa tou practice. Students are instructed to concentrate on the word head, like the phrase mu. In the Wumangan, public case number one, Zhao Zhao's dog. Wuman Moomin wrote, Concentrate yourself into this wu, making your whole body one great inquiry. Day and night work intently at it. Do not attempt nihilistic or dualistic interpretations. Arousing this great inquiry or great doubt is an essential element of koan practice. It builds up. 
strong internal pressure Giddon, never stopping knocking from within at the door of the mind, demanding to be resolved." To illustrate the enormous concentration required in koan meditation, Zen master Wuman commented, It is like swallowing a red-hot iron ball. You try to vomit it out, but you can't. Analyzing the koan for its literal meaning won't lead to insight, though understanding the context from which koans emerged can make them more intelligible. For example, when a monk asked Zhaoju Joshu, Does a dog have Buddha nature or not? The monk was referring to the understanding of the teachings on Buddha nature, which were understood in the Chinese context of absolute and relative reality. <inaudible> Insight The continuous pondering of the break through koan shokan or wa tou word head", leads to kensho, an initial insight into seeing the Buddha nature, the aim of the break through koan is to see the non-duality of subject and object the monk himself in his seeking is the koan. Realization of this is the insight, the response to the koan subject and object, this is two hands clapping. When the monk realizes that the koan is not merely an object of consciousness but is also he himself as the activity of seeking an answer to the koan, then subject and object are no longer separate and distinct. This is one hand clapping. Various accounts can be found which describe this, "...becoming one", and the resulting breakthrough. I was dead tired. That evening when I tried to settle down to sleep, the instant I laid my head on the pillow, I saw, "...ah, this out-breath is mu. Then, the in-breath too is mu. Next breath, too, mu. Next breath, mu, mu. Quote. Mu, a whole sequence of mu. Croak, croak, meow, meow, these two are mu. The bedding, the wall, the column, the sliding door, these two are mu. This, that and everything is mu. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha, that Roshi is a rascal. He's always tricking people with his mu, mu, mu. But the use of the mu koan has also been criticized. According to AMA Sami, the main aim is merely to become one with the koan. Showing to have become one with the first koan is enough to pass the first koan. According to Sami, this is not equal to prajna. The one-pointed, non-intellectual concentration on the wa tu or mu is a pressure cooker tactics, a reduction to a technique which can produce some psychic experiences. These methods and techniques are forced efforts which can even run on autopilot. They can produce experiences but not prajna wisdom. Some speak of investigating the wa tu, but it is rather a matter of concentration, which sometimes can provide insights, yet no more than that. Topic. Testing insight, or learning responses Topic. Sasho, checking questions Teachers may probe students about their koan practice using sasho checking questions to validate their satori understanding or kensho seeing the nature. For the mu koan and the clapping hand koan there are 20 to 100 checking questions, depending on the teaching lineage. The checking questions serve to deepen the insight of the student, but also to test his or her understanding. Those checking questions, and their answers, are part of a standardized set of questions and answers. Students are learning a ritual performance, learning how to behave and response in specific ways, learning clever repartees, ritualized language and gestures and be submissive to the master's diktat and arbitration. Jakugo, capping phrases In the Rinzai school, passing a koan and the checking questions has to be supplemented by jakugo, capping phrases, citations of Chinese poetry to demonstrate the insight. Students can use collections of those citations, instead of composing poetry themselves. Post-satori practice After the initial insight further practice is necessary, to deepen the insight and learn to express it in daily life. In Chinese Chan and Korean Son, this further practice consists of further pondering of the same wa tou. In Rinzai Zen, this further practice is undertaken by further koan study, for which elaborate curricula exist. In Soto Zen, Shikantaza is the main practice for deepening insight. Varieties in koan practice 
Topic: <laughs> Chinese Chan and Korean Seon. In Chinese Chan and Korean Seon, the primary form of koan study is kanwa, reflection on the koan, also called wa tou, word head. In this practice, a fragment of the koan, such as mu or a what is question, is used by focusing on this fragment and repeating it over and over again. Who is it who now repeats the Buddha's name? Who is dragging this corpse about? What is this? What is it? What was the original face before my father and mother were born? Who am I? The student is assigned only one wa tou for a lifetime. In contrast to the similar sounding, Who am I? question of Ramana Maharshi, wa tou involves raising great doubt. This koan becomes a touchstone of our practice, it is a place to put our doubt, to cultivate great doubt, to allow the revelation of great faith, and to focus our great energy. Topic. Japanese Rinzai Koan practice is particularly important among Japanese practitioners of the Rinzai sect. Topic. Importance of koan study This importance is reflected in writings in the Rinzai school on the koan genre. Zongfeng Mingbin (1263–1323), a Chinese Chan master who lived at the beginning of the Yuan dynasty, revitalized the Rinzai tradition and put a strong emphasis on the use of koans. He saw the Kung Ans as work of literature that should be used as objective, universal standards to test the insight of monks who aspired to be recognized as Chan masters. The koans do not represent the private opinion of a single man, but rather the hundreds and thousands of bodhisattvas of the three realms and ten directions. This principle accords with the spiritual source, tallies with the mysterious meaning, destroys birth and death, and transcends the passions. It cannot be understood by logic, it cannot be transmitted in words, it cannot be explained in writing, it cannot be measured by reason. It is like the poisoned drum that kills all who hear it, or like a great fire that consumes all who come near it. What is called the special transmission of the vulture peak was the transmission of this, what is called the direct pointing of Bodhidharma at Shaolin SSU is this. Muso Soseki, a Japanese contemporary of Zongfeng Mingbin, relativized the use of koans. The study of koans had become popular in Japan, due to the influence of Chinese masters such as Zongfeng Mingbin. Despite belonging to the Rinzai school, Muso Soseki also made extensive use of Richi teaching, explaining the sutras, instead of Kikan koan. According to Muso Soseki, both are upaya skillful means, meant to educate students. Muso Soseki called both shogyu little jewels", tools to help the student to attain satori. <laughs> koan curricula In Rinzai a gradual succession of koans is studied. There are two general branches of curricula used within Rinzai, derived from the principal heirs of Rinzai, the Takuju curriculum, and the Inzan curriculum. However, there are a number of sub-branches of these, and additional variations of curriculum often exist between individual teaching lines which can reflect the recorded experiences of a particular lineage's members. Koan curricula are, in fact, subject to continued accretion and evolution over time, and thus are best considered living traditions of practice rather than set programs of study. Koan practice starts with the shokan, or, first barrier, usually the mu koan or the koan. What is the sound of one hand clapping? After having attained kensho, students continue their practice investigating subsequent koans. In the Takuju school, after breakthrough students work through the gateless gate the blue cliff record the entangling vines and the collection of wings of the blackbird The Inzan school uses its own internally generated list of koans. Hakuin's descendants developed a five-fold classification system. Hashin, Dharma body koans, are used to awaken the first insight into sunyata. They reveal the dharmakaya, or fundamental. They introduce the undifferentiated and the unconditional. Kikan, dynamic action koans, help to understand the phenomenal world as seen from the awakened point of view, where Hashin koans represent tai, substance, Kikan koans represent yu, function. 
Gonson, Explication of Word Koans, Aid to the Understanding of the Recorded Sayings of the Old Masters. They show how the fundamental, though not depending on words, is nevertheless expressed in words, without getting stuck to words. Hachi Nanto, 8. Difficult to pass. Koans. There are various explanations for this category, one being that these koans cut off clinging to the previous attainment. They create another great doubt, which shatters the self attained through Satori. It is uncertain which are exactly those eight koans. Hori gives various sources, which altogether give ten Hachi Nanto koans, Miura and Sasaki. Nansen's Flower Hekagen Roku case 40. A buffalo passes the window Mumonkin case 38. Sozin's Memorial Tower Kato Show case 140. Suigan's Eyebrows Hekagen Roku case 8. Enkin's Rhinoceros Fan Hekagen Roku case 91. Shimano. The Old Woman Burns the Hut Kato Show case 162. Asahina Sojin. Gaso Hones. Hakun said not yet. Kato Showcase 269 Shuzen's Main Cable Kato Showcase 280 Akazuki Nansen Has Died Kato Showcase 282 Kenpo's Three Illnesses Kato Showcase 17 GOI Jujukin Koans, The Five Ranks of Tozen and the Ten Grave Precepts. According to Akazuki, there was an older classification system, in which the fifth category was Kojo. Directed upwards. This category too was meant to rid the monk of any stink of Zen. The very advanced practitioner may also receive the Matsugo no Roken, the last barrier, and Saigo no Aketsu, the final confirmation. Quote dot, quote, the last barrier, when one left the training hall, for example. Sum up all of the records of Rinzai in one word. Quote, it is not meant to be solved immediately, but to be carried around in order to keep practicing." Quote, the final confirmation may be another word for the same kind of koan. Post-Satori practice Completing the koan curriculum in the Rinzai schools traditionally also led to a mastery of Chinese poetry and literary skills. D. Disciples today are expected to spend a dozen or more years with a master to complete a full course of training in koan commentary. Only when a master is satisfied that a disciple can comment appropriately on a wide range of old cases will he recognize the latter as a dharma heir and give him formal proof of transmission. J. Inka Shome. Thus, in reality, a lot more than Satori is required for one to be recognized as a master J. Shaik, Roshi in the Rinzai school of Zen at present. The accepted proof of Satori is a set of literary and rhetorical skills that takes many years to acquire. After completing the koan training, gogo no shugyo, post Satori training is necessary. It would take ten years to solve all the koans in the soto. After the student has solved all koans, he can leave the soto and live on his own, but he is still not considered a roshi. For this, he has to complete another ten years of training, called Gogo no shugyo, in Japanese. Literally, this means, practice after satori, enlightenment, but Fukushima preferred the translation, special practice. Fukushima would explain that the student builds up a religious personality during this decade. It is a kind of period that functions to test if the student is actually able to live in regular society and apply his koan understanding to daily life, after he has lived in an environment that can be quite surreal and detached from the lives of the rest of humanity. Usually, the student lives in small parish temple during this decade, not in a formal training monastery. <laughs> Breathing practices Hakuin Ekaku, the 17th century revitalizer of the Rinzai school, taught several practices which serve to correct physical and mental imbalances arising from, among other things, incorrect or excessive koan practice. The soft butter method and introspection method involve cultivation of ki centered on the tondon. Chinese, dantian. These practices are described in Hakuin's works Oritegama and Yasin Kana, and are still taught in some Rinzai lineages today. Japanese Soto 
Though few Soto practitioners concentrate on koans during meditation, the Soto sect has a strong historical connection with koans, since many koan collections were compiled by Soto priests. During the 13th century, Dogen, founder of the Soto sect in Japan, quoted 580 koans in his teachings. He compiled some 300 koans in the volumes known as the Greater Shobogenzo. Dogen wrote of Genjokoan, which points out that everyday life experience is the fundamental koan. However, according to Michel Moore, Koan practice was largely expunged from the Soto school through the efforts of Gento Sokuchu (1729–1807), the eleventh abbot of Entsuji, who in 1795 was nominated abbot of Aheji. Topic: <laughs> Sanbo Kyodan and White Plum Asanga. The Sanbo Kyodan school and the White Plum Asanga, which originated with the Soto priest Hakun Yasutani, incorporates koan study. The Sanbo Kyodan places great emphasis on kensho, initial insight into one's true nature, as a start of real practice. It follows the so-called Harada Yasutani koan curriculum, which is derived from Hakuin's student Takuju. It is a shortened koan curriculum, in which the so-called capping phrases are removed. The curriculum takes considerably less time to study than the Takuju curriculum of Rinzai. To attain Kensho, most students are assigned the Mu Koan. After breaking through, the student first studies 22 in house koans, which are unpublished and not for the general public, but are nevertheless published and commented upon. Thereafter, the students goes through the Gateless Gate the Blue Cliff Record, the Book of Equanimity, and the Record of Transmitting the Light. The koan curriculum is completed by the five ranks of Tozen and the precepts. Classical koan collections Koans collectively form a substantial body of literature studied by Zen practitioners and scholars worldwide. Koan collections commonly referenced in English include The Blue Cliff Record Chinese, Bian Lu, Japanese, Hekagonroku, 12th century The Book of Equanimity also known as the Book of Serenity, Chinese, Kongrong Lu, Japanese, Shoyaraku, 12th century The Gateless Gate also known as the Gateless Barrier, Chinese, Wumengan, Japanese, Mumonkan collected during the 13th century, in these and subsequent collections, a terse main case of a koan often accompanies prefatory remarks, poems, proverbs and other phrases, and further commentary about prior emendations. The Blue Cliff Record The Blue Cliff Record is a collection of 100 koans compiled in 1125 by Yuan Wu Kekin Huan Wu Ke Chin 1063 The Book of Equanimity The Book of Equanimity or Book of Serenity Chinese, Kong Rong Lu Kong Rong Lu, Japanese, Kong Rong Lu Shoyaraku is a collection of 100 koans by Hongzi Zhengju Chinese, Hong Ji Zheng Jue Japanese, Wanshi Shogaku 1091-1157, compiled with commentaries by Wansong Xingshu 1166-1246. The full title is The Record of the Temple of Equanimity with the Classic Odes of Venerable Tiantong Ju and the Responsive Commentary of Old Man Wansong Wansong Lao Ping Chong Tian Tong Jue He Shang Song Gu Kong Rong and Lu Wansong Laoran Ping Chang Tian Tong Ju He Shang Song Gu Kong Rong and Lu Taisho Tripitaka Vol. 48, No. 2004 The Gateless Gate The Gateless Gate Chinese, Wu Men Guan Wu Men Gan, Japanese, Mu Mankan, is a collection of 48 koans and commentaries published in 1228 by Chinese monk Wu Men, Wu Men The title may be more accurately rendered as Gateless Barrier or Gateless Checkpoint. Five koans in the collection derive from the sayings and doings of Zhaoju Kongshen, transliterated as Chao Cho in Wade Giles and pronounced Joshu in Japanese. The True Dharma I The True Dharma I 300 is a collection of 300 koans compiled by I. Hai Dogen. 
Upon arriving in China, Dogen Keegan first studied under Wuji Lepai, a disciple of Dawi, which is where he probably came into contact with Dawi Zonggao's Dawei Zonggao 1089-1163 Shobajenzo, the Zhengfian Zhang Zheng Fa Yan Treasury of the True Dharma I. W. G. Cheng F. A. Yen Sang, J. Shobajenzo, a collection of koans and dialogues compiled between 1147 and 1150 by Dawi Zongo. Dawi's Shobajenzo is composed of three scrolls prefaced by three short introductory pieces. The Zongmen Liandang Huiyao Zongmen Lian Deng Wei Yao was compiled in 1183 by Huiwang Wuming Wei Wang Wu Ming. Three generations after Dawi in the same line, the sermon is found in Zh20. X79 to Other koan collections compiled and annotated by Soto priests include. The Iron Flute Japanese, Teteki Tosu, compiled by Genro in 1783 Verses and Commentaries on 100 Old Cases of Tenchian Japanese, Tenchian Hyakusoku Hyoju, compiled by Tetsuman in 1771 Examples of traditional koans Does a dog have Buddha nature? A monk asked Zhaoju, Does a dog have Buddha nature or not? Zhaoju said, Wu. Zhaoju is rendered as Chao Cho in Wade Giles, and pronounced Joshu in Japanese. Wu appears as Mu in Japanese, meaning no, not, nonbeing, or without in English. This is a fragment of case number one of the Womangan. However, another koan presents a longer version, in which Zhaoju answered, Yes, in response to the same question asked by a different monk. See case number 18 of the Book of Serenity. The sound of one hand Two hands clap and there is a sound. What is the sound of one hand? Ji Shou Sheng Ari Sono Sheng Wo Wen K. Victor Hori comments. Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 in the beginning a monk first thinks a koan is an inert object upon which to focus attention. After a long period of consecutive repetition, one realizes that the koan is also a dynamic activity, the very activity of seeking an answer to the koan. The koan is both the object being sought and the relentless seeking itself. In a koan, the self sees the self not directly but under the guise of the koan. When one realizes, makes real. This identity, then two hands have become one. The practitioner becomes the koan that he or she is trying to understand. That is the sound of one hand. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Original face. Hunan asked Wei Ming, "Without thinking of good or evil, show me your original face before your mother and father were born." This is a fragment of case number twenty-three of the Wumengan. Topic. Killing the Buddha If you meet the Buddha, kill him Feying Fu Sha Fu thinking about the Buddha as an entity or deity is delusion, not awakening. One must destroy the preconception of the Buddha as separate and external before one can become internally as their own Buddha. Zen master Shunryu Suzuki wrote in Zen Mind, Beginner's Mind during an introduction to Zazen, Kill the Buddha if the Buddha exists somewhere else. Kill the Buddha, because you should resume your own Buddha nature. One is only able to see a Buddha as he exists in separation from Buddha, the mind of the practitioner is thus still holding on to apparent duality. Other koans A student asked Master Yun Men AD 949, Not even a thought has arisen, is there still a sin or not? Master replied, Mount Sumeru. A monk asked Dongshan Xiaochu, What is Buddha? Dongshan said, Three pounds of flax. This is a fragment of case number 18 of the Wumangan as well as case number 12 of the Blue Cliff Record. A monk asked Xiaoju, What is the meaning of the ancestral teachers coming from the West? Xiaoju said, The cypress tree in front of the hall. 
This is a fragment of case number 37 of the Womangan as well as case number 47 of the Book of Serenity. See also Buddhism Kurigami Koans mentioning Subhuti, Tanzan, and Tetsugan List of koans by Yunmin Wenyan Mu Koan Original face Wild Fox Koan Christianity Apophatic Theology Other Hacker Koans, humorous expressions of hacker culture Notes References Book references Web references Sources Further reading Laurie, John Dado. Sitting with Koans, Essential Writings on the Zen Practice of Koan Study. Wisdom Publications, 2005. ISBN 978-0-86171-369-1 Stephen Heine, and Dale S. Wright, eds. The Koan, Texts and Contexts in Zen Buddhism. Oxford and New York, Oxford University Press, 2000. ISBN 0-19-511749-2 Hoffman, Yoel. Tr. The Sound of the One Hand. Basic Books, 1975. ISBN 978 0 465 08079 3. This book contains examples of how some Zen practitioners answer the koans correctly. Originally published in Japan almost a century ago as a critique of fossilization of Zen, that is, formalization of koan practice. Sami, A. M. A. N. D. Koan, Wa Tu, and Kensho PDF. Stevenson, Barry June 2005. The Koan as Ritual Performance. Journal of the American Academy of Religion, 73 475–496 <laughs> External links Zen Buddhism Koan Study Pages Koan Collections and Studies <laughs>